talking about his occasional girlfriend, Richie's occasional girlfriend. I also said that he had an occasional brother as well. Uh. Yeah, my brother, yeah. And you know, it was so odd because years later, after all of Happy Days and stuff, I ended up doing a series called Matlock that was, you know, starring Andy Griffith, and I played his daughter, which meant then that I guess I had been dating my brother, something <laughs> like that. It was very, you know, incestuous in a weird kind of way. But you it's funny, you sort of, it seems like a big town LA does, but, you know, it's a tiny little village ultimately, especially at this age when we're all so old and, you know, there's so much, well, speaking for myself, where you know, there's so much history and there's so much kind of overlap and people keep moving. It's a gypsy life, but it's a kind of gypsy tribe. Mm -hmm. You had, you had told me that you thought that, that you would thought that Andy uh, was actually super brilliant you oh. said that he was really like like apart from his sort of down home folksy you told you, you said that he was a really smart guy he was not at all who i expected him to be he was a deeply deeply complicated person um he had a lot of demons he was yeah he was that was the first surprise when we sat down to lunch together i had been signed to do the the role but we hadn't met yet so it was just the producer myself and andy and he had this he was absolutely up to the minute he was uh he was incredibly well read he was you know current events two three newspapers a day yeah he was he was wicked smart and some that's something that he disguised you know he didn't really i don't think he sort of showed that intellectual side of his persona A terrific writer wonderful writer he wrote he doctored all the scripts on matlock every single one um so but like a lot of comics you know he had a kind of a dark a dark side as well uh, so i've always felt sad that we didn't see his willie loman we didn't see his king lear because he had those roles in him he you know he he had eugene o'neill inside of him he, wow yeah, he he was. We saw, I think, a fraction of his remarkable talent. But... Imagine him as Big Daddy, I guess. You know. Oh my gosh! Yes, yes. Oh, he would have been amazing, amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs>